Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and in today's video, I don't know what all's going to be in it but to start off, the grain dryer is dismantled and she's coming out ready to be moved to an out farm for storage. So Lee's just in it there. Okay, I'm going to have to get a shovel or something. Uh, no shovel handy, fuck it. This is on the shaft, stuff that's been separated out of the, that there. Who needs a shovel? Alright, try that. So we're getting this out of the way now. And then we're going to go get ourselves some mill peat to go back into the shed and clear the space where our mill peat is stored for this to go in. As you can see, oh! As you can see, we did an awful job to get that unloading auger off. So what we done was we strapped it to the roof, we lifted it up to the roof and we come back in with the telly and we'll take it off. But it was over nearly two hours trying to get that off. And I reckon that was going to be the easiest way of doing it. So. Straight. We're trying to get Lee out of here. Without getting caught in anything. Alright, nice job. Straight up. You're good, you're good. Right back on. Lots of space. Back on. Grand job. Handy enough. Frosting, foggy kind of a morning. Lay down, lay down, whoa, down. She's dog in the back is on the ground there. Yeah. So I think the only problem we're going to have currently is pumpkin patch is still ongoing, and the banner we have on the avenue is surely going to be in the way. So that is probably going to be the biggest problem we're going to have now. That'll have to be taken down to get this out. But we're just going to take this out now and go get our mill peat so we can clear the space. So we have the loader and my brand new bucket that I had in the loader tractor for when I put on. Ready to go. So we get it tested out. Let's check that I'm not going to get it caught. Take the height of that. And step in the concrete. Should be good there. Ground clear and says and grey on it. Ah, you're good. So anyways, we go put on a trailer and get the 6480. We get going. That's her out of shed now. We get the mill peat in, there the few last bits that's in it, and we get these bulls in. There's actually a couple of them will come up the bottom and into the yard. It's about time to go in, so this. And we are off. So we got the loader put on last night. We greased up service the loader. It needs a wash. See the bit of green on it there. We have my new bucket on. My quickie bucket of Bob and Johnson's. And uh, Lee's coming behind me there in the 99 and the blue green trailer. So we're hoping two load is enough to make space and bed the shed. We might have to take a third load, which might be a bit much for the shed, but we may need to come out to make space for the grain dryer because we want to get it back in and well we just want to get the mill peat taken out there too or get making use of it anyways so yeah we'll be a hon i don't know if seen cattle coming after him anyways we'll be a hon get this loaded and get back so here we are it's narrow enough now to get in and there's yeah there's a lot of mill peat here so i don't know what i'm going to do but we'll just get mill peat out I will try and get the grain dryer over this side. I think is all we can do. So we'll get the right gear. I might just down the camera. I haven't yet to use this loader tractor in so long. So Lee's gonna try and get back in there, but yeah, this isn't just going to be as handy as I thought it was gonna be now. Not by a long shot. Not by a long shot. see how we got on. I'm going to try and rearrange some of these. Move the tether in front of the baler and move the cord in front of that. 
and that'll give me a little bit more space, I think. Me thinks. Anyways, down the camera, I'm trying to get this middle piece out without driving across any other machinery. And that's the first load of mill peat filled. So I'm going to try and rearrange some of the machinery there so we can maybe get a little bit better at it um, while Lee is away. So that's the plan. So move the cord drill in front of the Massey drill, move the tether in front of the baler, and then I should be able to get in along the side and push that back, make as much space as we can for the grain guard again. Anyways, happy out. Another one then we'll put a fair bit of a hole in it so well. So rearrange the machinery here so I can get more in this way. So just try and clear what's along the wall there behind the 590 just to make everything nice and square for getting it in hopefully. So I'm not too sure how much I get in so I just feel like while I'm waiting for the trailer to come back I'll be just shunting as much of this backwards as I can. Stacking it up, trying to make space. We have enough mill peat there either to do another shed or next year, whichever. It's there, anyways. <coughs> so, just keep keeping away at here, trying not to get caught in anything. And um, yeah, get the green drawer up here then. <coughs> and now that is load number two. We have a nice hole put in. There's still in our two load in there, at least maybe three. So that's going to be next year's peat supply done. When that runs out, then we're finished with mill peat. Uh, probably could have gone our bucket on that demo. So bucket space at the front there, I didn't see. But anyways, we're we'll bit on back to the yard now, and um, we get the grain dryer moved, and we get bulls moved about the yard, and we get the bulls off the bottoms in. Even though I think there is quite a few of them up at the minute. Come up last night. Anyways, and the Behan. So welcome, you <laughs> lazy yo. <laughs> so, just having a mug of tea now, or coffee, and um, just come into the pumpkin shed. Happy out. New canteen. New canteen now, so it is, yeah. So, before before it gets busy for the day. Happy out. Yeah. You I like your coffee, do you? Because I do. You want to make yourself. So. We have one load of mill peat back. Lee is just putting in new LED lights into the shed and there is our unloading elevator. So, one of the next jobs now is get up to that on the pallet and then strap it down to the pallet and then release it and take it down out there. So yeah, that was as good as we could get it to get it off. So, I pushed an hour and a half at least trying to get it out of there, off the, the grain dryer but yeah. Anyways, we get off. And while we're putting on, new lights we're putting in. That's the one he's just took off. Putting in these LEDs. Pop the lights. See you. Breaking up the shed a wee bit. And that is the last of the grain dryer out of the shed. Time to tip a load of milk paint and put the bolt. And he is just tipping out what's in the trailer now. So we'll tip whatever won't tip out at the door. So we're leaving in this. It's mostly just chaff and dust. When I go peg it in the jungle anyways, it'll no doubt it'll um, have some soakage in it. Bertie and Nelly. So we're gonna leave it that the bulls will shake it out themselves, they'll knock away a crack over. So we'll tip what's left outside the door, then shove it in with the uh, 6480. Sitting there ready to right, rock and roll. We just move the bulls. Happy days. Lay down. Tip what's left in the door. So, 
That should keep the cattle bedded for four weeks maybe and we'll start pegging straw in on it then and we should get quite some time before we have to clean them out. So on its own, when it's really, you would have seen before anyone who hasn't, it goes to pure bog mold, pure damnable stuff to work to get cattle out when it's you've spent. But when you mix straw in with it, you get an awful long time out with up, up, up. So, this in the door. That's the job. That's you. Well, we'll shove it up into the shed and let the bulls enjoy themselves. Have a bit of crack. That is the boys in there. They'll knock some great crack out with leveling that. Now, they are dirty. Two reasons for that. One, we still haven't clipped tails because our yard is tore up. And when we clip the tails, cattle get cleaner because they don't have a brush to paint themselves with their muck. The other thing is because they were in the cubicle shed, cubicle shed's not suitable for bulls because they just, bulls like to ride each other. And they put the muck up on them. You'll notice how it's always on the back half and that lower quarter where the the muck on their belly and then they put it up on each other's backs but give it a day and them cattle will be spotless they clean so the reason we moved them in there and we're going to bring the ones in off the bottom to put them in the cubicles is because they're ready for finishing ration the bulls are ready for finishing ration new day peter full tub in and out happy days whereas the other boys have to be wound up first so they'll go into the cubicles till we get the grain shifted to the other side of the wall then they'll be moved to there and then the heifers go into cubicles where they should be so that's the juggling we're at at the minute yeah. right always in a rush so we have some of the bulls are there i guess that'll be going in now when we get organized we're in the middle of trying to get a lot of things done and when we see the first of november pumpkin patch finished we'll have more time on our hands to get yards tidy than machines more machinery pull away and all that crack but just for now it's trying to get things sorted so the bulls are kind of on a ramble because the, the flood's been up so we're walking down to see can we gather up the ones that are down here so hopefully now they're no further than two paddocks away hopefully here they are coming in Slowly but surely. Come on! Come on! So this is the batch of bulls from home. These would be the lightest. That's why we left them to last to go in. We have some good bulls in here, but we lost small bulls too. Ones that would have given us trouble. Um, or ones that were bad with rohe virus when they were calves. So we get these into the shed here. As you can see, like there's some really good bulls on it. There's some very small bulls on it. So it's just the luck of the job. Try and get these lads in anyways. Into their accommodation for and now that's them in. So everyone's roaring now because they have new neighbours and we need to go feed now. Didn't feed us, we needed to clean out the barriers after some of the bulls being in the yard last night. Oh him. Um, 
hill. Right now anyway, so we'll go feed ourselves and then we'll go feed them and I don't know, we'll pick up another part of the video when we get going again. Don't know what we'll go at next, but we'll figure it out. Oh aye, oh aye the grain dryer. Father, now you leave it closed, just come through here. So Father Phil is just after blowing off the grain dryer, emptying it out, leaving it ready now to be stored. So we'll probably run that up the road now. Next. Oh aye. Always something. So there's one last thing to do right after thinking of it before we bring it up. We have to pull the side panel off it there and empty out whatever's left inside of it, which will be the center auger, would have been full of beans and then let settle down. So we're going to aim to let it out in the clean bit of concrete here and then we'll pick it up then after. So I'm getting into it here now. There must be something in the way. Alright, spin it there. Not too much over now. It's wobbling now. Left to come out this side, and we're good to go. It's mostly just our chaff and dirt. A small bit of beans in it. Open. Nice. Right. That's us ready to go. Should we book traveling the same, or do you want me to go ahead in the jeep? Or does it matter? She's not too wide, um, the height's the issue. I don't know whether we should go by the main road or the back road. Main road. Yeah. Road. We'll go to the main road and then hope we can actually get in. Would it be any higher than the rake? No. If it was no higher than the rake, would be sound. If it's higher than the rake, we could be in trouble. <coughs> Let the fun begin. So we're just trying to ease our way in here now. Not doing too bad. So, just making sure we don't get caught in any branches. I think we'll be all right. Got a little soft things, I think, yeah, hopefully. No, that was a, actually not too bad a run. Thought it could have been worse. So, have to stand where. Come on back! Straight back! Straight back! Straight back! We get this in here now. To me! Come on back! Come on back! Straight back! Straight back! Straight back! Come on back! That's her! Go! Oh. And that is the grain dryer stored for the wind. So here we have Betty coming in for farrowing. So Liv is after drawing down milk on her, so that means she's close. So time to put her into the farrowing pen. And um, here's her first generation, her first litter. They're going to the butcher Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday. Tomorrow, they're going tomorrow. So Betty, going in now for farrowing. So next day or two, we'll have our third litter of pigs of the year. Come on, Betty. Betty. Come on, Betty. Come on. In you go. Good girl. No. And that's another pig in for farrowing. And we're back in the shed now. <coughs> These are the bulls that we moved from the cubicle shed in. I said I'd finish off to be showing you just how well they've cleaned up. You can see they've cleaned up very well. We're just waiting to be fed fighter fizz, put on the diet feeder there. Put on the mix, a ration. But they've cleaned up lovely, so they have. Still a bit of dirt on them, but like compared to what they were when we let them in, 
they're well cleaned up so they are they're well cleaned up so that is the benefit of mill peat but mill peat is is getting harder to get and there is the sustainability element of it even though we put back our land but then you're taking it from yeah we're finished with peat when we use up that pile we have but the boys the boys are looking good i have to go retie the pig pen out in the castle there but they're looking good they're not looking too bad we are higher than them. When you're higher than cattle, cattle don't tend to look as good as they do when you're out on level ground, but this is it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, yeah, I'm taking out the grain dryer, getting cattle sorted, and another step in the right direction for the winter. Still more to be done. It's never ending, to be honest. Starting into kind of pull and beat now next week. A uh, bit to pull for higher, and Try and get her own pulled and they're talking of a storm coming thursday and yeah just yeah lots of stuff still to be done i still love putting away and tidying and whatnot so we'll see how next week goes for us i hope you enjoyed today's video as always please like and subscribe to the channel videos every tuesday thursday and sunday that's it for me good luck